it's Friday guys and I get to go home like an hour early. I was in a good mood until Joe informed me that he loaned this lady or pallet jack. I mean, she has a business a little bit ways down the way there, but I don't like lending out my tools because I've done so before and people have actually lost them. And so um, we have a forklift, we have a pallet jack, we have pallets. We have everything here that we need to do warehouse type work. And these people come into this complex, they don't have anything to do warehouse work and then they wanna come borrow your stuff. And then they get mad at you when you don't loan it to them too. So I told them, go fetch my pallet jack because I'm ready to go home. And I told you already, I'm gonna go home an hour early because I spend the entire day on the computer doing work for Macron for the bottle printing. Um, we're getting a potential new customer. And whenever you're getting a new customer, you have to like put everything in writing because um, you don't want anything left on set. You want everything on contract because people will read into things what they want to read into it and then you get the crappy end of the stick. So I did all that stuff, cross all my T's, dot all my I's, did some work for Bear Pantry Show. I'm trying to like revamp my little website that I have there. I only have a little website that I built through Weebly, through Bluehost. I don't see the need for like a big high-tech website right now. But I want to have like 10 items setting up my website at any one time. And I need to be able to go replace them accordingly. So let me see if Joe found this woman that has my, um, my, um, pallet jack. Let's see. Follow me guys. So see, we finished a small order. They picked up today. The customer that we get that we're supposedly, um, hoping to get is a big customer which would be awesome because I have one big customer and it would be nice to have two and then a lot of little small ones. So see the end of the building? Joe's always on the, all the way on the end of the building. I think I see that pallet jack too. Oh, by the way, they tell you that mom and dad are coming back on Monday. I'm so excited for that because we want to get mom into the hospital and make sure that she's okay. She says she's feeling a lot better because of the diuretics, but you know diuretics are a temporary fix. So anyways, let me go find Joe. You better bring back my pallet, Jack. Uh -huh. Okay, what's she going to do with it so long? She going to say you have to move one thing? No, I get it back right now. Stuff on top to, um, to who? Uh, Me alone in drunken people. Oh, Felipe. I thought it was drunken. Um, what's his name? What the drunken one name? The borracho. Uh, Glenn. Glenn. Oh my goodness. He looks drunk all day long, doesn't he? Huh? He's probably drunk now. See, in the eye, he could be sober and still look like he's drunk. <laughs> he does. He's sober and he looks like he's drunk. <laughs> yep. Okay, let's go, baby, because I have to stop at the post office to mail away another book. All right guys, so Joe is finally gonna change my faucet. It seems like every year we break one of these faucets. You know, these, how much, how much um, do these faucets cost, Joe? Which one? This crappy one right here. Like 30 odd dollars? 50, 50, 50. Wow, it's expensive. It was expensive. Yeah, so he, you know, he changes them out for me, but it's, this is like the second or third one we're changing, right? Yeah. This is the third one we're gonna put in. He broke one when we had my birthday party in 2013 because see how low the faucet is to the sink? And so when he's washing those big pots that we cook in for the parties, he forgets to move the faucet that away, and then boom, he breaks it. So at my birthday party in 2013, we were like faucetless, which was really, really sucky. And then for Jada's party last year, 2014, May, for her graduation party, he put this one in. And then a couple months ago, well, well, for Jada's graduation party, something happened too, right, Joe? I remember something. Something, it didn't quite break, but something was off and we didn't have water again then too. Well, we busted. had water, but I think one was busted it was busted then again then, right? Yeah. yeah, so he changed that one at Jada's right after the party. I mean, we have water for the party, but it's like spraying everywhere. It's stupid. So my friend Leah is always so good at coming to help me uh, whenever we have parties. And she's like, you always have a broken faucet every time we have a party. So now the water was coming out. I, I wanted Joe to show us before he um, shut the water off, but the water was coming out from here spring. So I would get water here and water here, which was really sucky because it would make a mess back there. And of course the kids, the slobs that they are, didn't you know care to just trickle the water on. Plus we have a drought, so we can't be wasting water. 
So Joe is looking for some wing nut. Looks like he's praying. Do you know what you're doing? Hmm? You look like you're praying. Do you know what you're doing? Mm -hmm. He's looking for some wing nut under there to loosen something or the other. And he's not going to do this for his show, um, Sun Hill Boy, because it's kind of hard to get in there and see in that darkness. And uh, he doesn't feel he's professional enough. <laughs> Plus, Sun Hill Boy, he wants it to be like fun little, oh, did you know type things, right, Joe? Uh -huh. Huh? Uh -huh. For Sun Hill Boy, you want it to more, no, be more like, did you know that this could work like... You can use uh, baking soda to brush your teeth if you don't have toothpaste, you know, that kind of stuff. <laughs> the stuff that he had to do when he was a child. And let me show you guys. After he's done with that, we're going to go to the gym. He has this right here. This is an empty container for a deodorant or antiperspirant because he's going to try to make homemade deodorant from coconut oil. And he's going to make his coconut oil from scratch. See right here, the coconuts are in this bag. He's going to make the coconut oil from scratch. And we have a, a video of that already at the cooking channel, but he wants to do it again for his channel, and he wants me to do a voiceover. And he did his own voiceover <laughs> the last episode of his show, and I think he did a really good yeah. job for the first time around. It's hard to get in here to get... Well, get in. in the meanwhile, I'll do what I do best. We'll sit down and edit. <laughs> do me a favor, give me a flush. Flashlight. See, this is why I don't like when he works, because I don't know where to find a flashlight. You're my worker. Just do what I say. Oh, my goodness. A flashlight? I should know where a flashlight is in earthquake territory. Let me go look for a flashlight, guys. This is what it's looking like, guys. But now he's calling me, telling me that he needs something I under need there. I need this. Big as this and reduce here. Okay. This is a one quarter. Mm -hmm. This is a half inch. Mm -hmm. I need a quarter down here. Okay, so you gotta go to Home Depot? Yeah, I get to kiss it. So, so, so. In the distance. I need this good, I need it to shot too. Yeah. So this, it's too short, so he has to MacGyver it. Here, so. well, don't you wish you were doing this for your channel now, huh? I know my eye. Now, do we need Osla to come in and take a look at this um, right. garbage disposal connection or whatever so that our dishwasher can work again? Mm. Our, our um, garbage disposal backs up into our dishwasher. Ever since my dad came up with this filtration system in, which we don't even use anymore. And no, we can't use the dishwasher because it's always backing up in there. This is gorgeous though. Looking pretty good. Now he has water there and he goes, my new slip. Instead of cleaning it up. I'm working. You're fired. I'm working. You are fired off this job. I, 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 well, that's, that's a good thing. I could quit right now. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got no problem with that. You can't quit. You have no home house coverage. People come in and do this stuff for you. Huh? I got one. You'll find it, baby. You'll save me money. I got one. Your bald head is just shiny from here. <laughs> and it's not even really shiny. It's just a light. See? He's trying to kill us. He's trying to kill us, guys. Stupid copyrights. They said collagen. Jory, are you allowed to be on my vlog today? Can you give me permission? Huh? No, I would have cut it out if you said no. You know I'm respectful of that. Do you look cute enough to be on the vlog today? <laughs> Pearls. When you turn one, you get pearls. One is pearls? <laughs> so Joe's still fixing the faucet. Look at this one. He got me a mean one this time, huh, Josh? See, this one break. <laughs> You're talking to daddy right here. He might break this one too. Right now. And every day I clean up the kitchen completely so he can do this. He jumps up and does it on a day when all the breakfast stuff is left here. The eggs are getting cold on the dish. I am so mad at him. I still haven't eaten. And then you can't stay mad too long because he's actually fixing something, Where you know? You gotta get pleased one day. Why hush? So see, we changed the sink since we started the Bear Panther Show. It used to be one of those white cast iron sinks. That sucker was so heavy when we removed it. Guys, she needs so, a bath, but I don't want her to be cross with me today. Who cares? She has to get back pleased sometime. <laughs> as soon as Joe's done with this faucet thing, we're gonna go to the gym. 
I've noticed that when you go to the gym on Sunday mornings, it's really, really quiet, but the stupid idiots that work at the gym, they put all the uh, treadmills up on their nose and you can't walk on them. They only leave three down and they're like walking around slowly cleaning underneath the treadmill. And you know what they do too? They get underneath the treadmill while it's standing up like that. They are so stupid. If that thing falls on their head, sometimes I want to stop and say, don't go underneath there. I never go underneath stuff that could fall on my head. I guess because we live in earthquake territory, never put any pictures. See? No pictures on that wall where we sit. Mm -mm. Uh, Nothing's going to fall on my head. If that speaker falls from there, it won't do too much damage. This is the usual time you guys go to the gym? We should move the Martin from there. On the weekends. Okay. Now that I see that, we should put something else like the Esteban there. Yeah, move the Martin. Are you guys watching ID? Yeah. Ion? This is uh, Criminal Minds. This, is, uh, is this, this guy was... Um, this guy was not an arsonist. He was just using fire as his weapon. Mm -hmm. There's a difference. Yeah, people, I've watched every episode of Criminal Minds. That's the first series that I can honestly say that I've watched every episode because I'll start out really strong with a series and then somewhere along the line, I lose interest and then I stop watching. I'm not a faithful watcher at all. But oh, another one that I can say I've watched all, every episode is Blacklist. I'm Kimmy Schmidt. Kimmy Schmidt. Well, Blacklist has only has two has only I had two that, seasons, <laughs> right? How many episodes in two seasons? What? Do you think Blacklist comes with thirteen episodes a season? Doesn't feel like. It no, it's like six or know. six or seven, right? Yeah. Isn't yeah. Like the bare minimum? No, once a <laughs> not when they're mid season replacements. Uh -huh. Once upon a time in television, they used to have to come with twenty six episodes of a show, and that was really expensive to do because. You know, they have to do all this production and stuff. And if the show doesn't take off and it gets canceled, oh well, you're out your money. So then they started doing where you can come with 13 episodes, which is half a season, right? Yeah. Now they have six episodes, which are called mid-season replacements. How do I know so much about television? Because that was my major. Well, my major was radio broadcasting, but I was forced to take a bunch of television courses when I was in school because my teachers thought I would do well in it. <laughs> Judah! Yeah, they first saw something from my teacher said, you would do well in television. I was 270 pounds and did not want to be on camera. So they were like, who cares? You're still beautiful. Get on the camera. You can talk. And back then I couldn't. I didn't know. <laughs> it was funny. Joshua says this is like a cartoon because Joe told the old man that he could go. And we've been waiting here about literally ten two minutes. minutes. <laughs> Joshua says 10 minutes is two minutes. <laughs> Joe, you should have gotten out and helped the man across the street. Joshua says, Joshua says it's like a cartoon. <laughs> if he's on the floor, yeah, get out and help him, but he's walking just fine. Maybe the, maybe the man wants his independence, huh? Yeah, there were people that want you to help them. Exactly. Dad might end up hurting him trying to hurry jo across Joshua's the street. like, jo especially old white people, yeah. I'm telling you. And then they see a black man come approach them, they get scared. Yeah. I don't blame him, though. <laughs> Daddy scares me, too. <laughs> we, know, we know Daddy's a good guy, but they don't know Daddy's a good guy. Uh, uh, uh. So all three of us went to the gym, guys. So we're supposed to go in and you wait in the car? We don't want to buy. It's hot out here. We're going in. I'm not going in. Screw that. Oh, Joshua's not going in? <laughs> okay, so what do I need? So Josh and I are sitting in the car and I'm like, Josh, did I tell you that I made 15,000 subscribers at the cooking channel? And what did you say, Josh? Go on. I said, good. And they're real people unlike, some, unlike the other people who get robots. <laughs> oh my goodness. I know that a lot of you that watch the vlog channel are also subscribers to the cooking channel so I want to thank all of you guys who share who sub who like who comment oh my goodness I am so grateful I never thought I could get a following of 15,000 people can you believe that you know what I noticed guys ever since we've been doing the wheat belly program and not eating the grains our skin looks cleaner I mean this is my skin without any makeup on I'm not having that old lady um what do you call those um, hyperpigmentation right now and the ones that I had before they seem to be getting lighter. I don't know if I'm fooling myself. I'm gonna start taking like some close-up shots to see. But Joe says definitely for him that all those dark spots on yeah, your face is gone, the, the circle under his eye is gone. And um, under his eyes, because he had them under the dark spots on the both eyes. And I know that they say that's a sign of dehydration, but Joe drinks a lot, so. I thought it was just the Indian in him, the Sri Lankan in him. <laughs> but, um, uh, Jada too. Jada doesn't have the Flintstone dark spots on the here anymore. 
and that's due to hormonal and also to high sugar because Jada was getting some 123s and 124s for her sugar and it's supposed to be between 80 and 120. She was also getting for a fasting glucose, one time she got like 120 for a fasting glucose, which is not good. Fasting glucose should be at about 99. But now she's getting that, 99, 98. Joe's getting the same thing, so we're really liking this program. I wish my mom and dad would come on board with it because they need it desperately if they're having trouble with their kidneys filtering slowly and stuff like that, so. But Joshua does the wheat belly too, but he does it when he can eat our stuff without having to make nothing. See? Joshua, your teeth look so pretty white in there. Yeah, pretty white. And this one can't stop messing around with the water bottles. Stop it's messing with the water bottles. Right here. Oh, Lord have mercy. So we're selling this little Nissan Sentra car that Jory used to own and then Jada owned it for a while. Like I said, Jory bought it first like in 2010, I believe. And he had it for many years until he bought his truck and then Jada kept it for about eight months till she bought her SUV. And so now, you know, the car is, it works very good, but Joe wants to sell it so he can get some dead raise money. For you Belizeans watching, you know what dead raise is, right? Just get some seed money so that he can join um, this auction. People still do that? Hug and stuff while they're driving? I thought that was from the 1980s. Look over there, guys. I don't know if you can see. People are still hugging while driving. Dad, <laughs> stop looking. I look where I want to look. So, anyways, he wants to get some seed money so he can join this car action place thingy so that he can start buying and selling a couple cars a year so we can have some vacation money. What do you say, Joe? Yep. Yeah, because we never go on vacation. We went on one vacation in 2013 since we've been married. Before that, we went twice to my Uncle Les when he was alive and living in Texas. And that's not really a vacation. Well, he, he was glad to have us and he treated us like gold. But it's a long drive to get to Texas. And when you get there, they're like, can you cook? And you know what? I'm going to be honest. I ate that up. I really did. <laughs> I used to love when I went there and he's like, cook this for me, cook that for me. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot of work, but the way he ate it, oh my God, it made it so worthwhile to cook for him. So I'm not even gonna lie. I love doing that for him. Can you see all that when you go in there? Let me hear you. Let me hear you, baby. Tres libras. Tres, tres libras. 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 No, not trust me, just don't stop it. Trust Libras. Libras is pounds and Libras is book. Look at that, Josh. I don't think this is a parking. This is a parking? Yep. You guys just made it into a parking. It's for parking. No. Tres. Okay, daddy, tell me. Tres Libras. Tres Libras. De masa. De masa. Para tortilla. Para tortilla. <laughs> <laughs> he said, Joshua, he said, pala, pala, P A L A, pala tor It's para with a R. Pala tortillas. Pala or para? Para. With a R, para. You know how to roll your R, Josh? Yeah. Put your, the tip of your tongue up behind your teeth, like in the roof of your mouth, and say a D. Instead of, try, instead of trying to say a R, say a D. So instead of say, say para. Para. Say a D. Don't try to say a R. Say a D. Para. Para. Jada picked me up and um, under the table. It was long. Services were long today, but I'm glad that I went after all because there's a lot going on that I didn't know with my little church family over there and a lot of prayer is needed for different people there. And um, yeah, I'm glad I went. So, Jada picked me up. I'm so happy that I have to walk back. Driving again. Miss Daisy. Even though it's not a long <laughs> walk, it's a hot walk because it got hot. Put up your window, Mama. So, let's go in and see what Joe did with my oxtails because I'm doing a show on oxtails today. But sometimes the shows are like this where I start and I leave and then Joe finishes up some stuff and I come back. I'm so awful. Look good with that makeup, y'all. <laughs> Who does? <laughs> me. You, do I look good? Oh, that's the Mayan in us. We're, we're very. Like... I don't know that we're Mayan. We might be Aztec. No, Mayan. We should show the picture of the family. They're totally When we Mayan. go in, we'll show yeah. it. We'll show it. Aztec's more Spaniard. Hey guys, so I taped a show today on oxtails and curried fried jacks. 
and I'm taping as many shows as I can because mom comes back tomorrow night and she goes straight to the ER and I don't know what we're gonna be facing. We're thinking that it's kidney stones and she's having like renal colic and the reason that we're thinking that is because of some of her symptoms and also for the fact that the ultrasound did see some calcification in one of her kidneys so I'm hoping that it's that because that's very treatable yes she might be in some pain but very treatable so when I go uh, to be with her in the ER I don't know what's gonna happen I don't know if they're gonna admit her if they're gonna send her home if she's gonna need help and I am planning that I'm gonna probably have to stay there with her to uh, go ahead and be of some type of assistance. So I wanna thank you guys that are praying. Keep up the prayers. Pray unceasingly, okay, so we can get over this. Um, Joe is doing uh, well over the loss of his uncle. We just kinda of pray for his children because they are so devastated as, you know, as can be expected. So um, I, I can't tell you that I'm like fretful or worried about mom. I, I refuse to do that. I've activated my faith. I know that, like I said in the last vlog, my words have power and I speak blessings over my mom and I speak healing over my mom because we have to have her back in the bear pantry kitchen. So I want you guys to take a look at the mess here. Oh my goodness, this dish was so divine. Look at that fried jack. It's made with curry. Let me take it so Joe can break it open because my battery's getting ready to die. Joe's sitting out here in the living room. Daddy, break this one open for me so I can show my viewers this beautiful fried jack. We had six pieces like that and they're all gone. See? See the curry on the inside? It was so delicious. Joe, I want to thank you so much for cooking while I went to church today. Welcome. What's that? You're hungry? Welcome. This is hungry boys. Um, Jada says I look so native today. Um, I want to show you guys. I'm going to go find this photo album that I have with my ancestors. These people in the pictures are my mom's dad which is this guy right here let me show you guys this is maurice that handsome fella right there that's my grandma my mom's mom well maurice's people okay now it's a it's a really odd situation because my grandpa maurice um and my aunt eileen which was my grandmother's older sister they are cousins but my aunt eileen was well they were they're all dead <laughs> my aunt eileen was not um my grandpa was not related to my grandma you guys got it <laughs> i'm getting confused and it's because my aunt eileen's dad um had five kids with my grandpa's um i guess aunt and then she died the, the lady died and then he got remarried to my grandma's mom and then had five kids with her four or five kids and so my Aunt Eileen was the only girl. She lived to be 98 years old. She died in 2004. So she's cousins with my grandpa. And I want to um, find this picture so I can show you guys so we can see the heritage, all right? Thank you for liking and subscribing. And please check out my other two channels, the Product Review Channel, Bear Pantry Talk, and the cooking show, The Bear Pantry Show, where you will find over 100 Belizean recipes.